about the last video we already talked something about the configuration BPDO, right? And we can use the BPDO to do some calculation for uh, standard tree topology. And finally we can got the uh, got the path without the loop. And uh, the second function of STP is if in some scenario that uh, the link is broken, we hope uh, the redundant link also can work. So in this scenario, the STP will use a new message. We call it TCM BPDO message. And about the IEEE, AO2.1D protocol also specify definite the TCM BPDO and also we maybe say the message name is TC message. And uh, in this protocol, the message will be used in two scenarios. The first one, if the port on the bridge is trans, uh, transitioned to the forwarding status and the bridge contains at least one DP, one DP, or maybe a port on the bridge changes from the forwarding status or landing status, uh, status to the blocking status. In these two scenarios, the network the devices will generate the TCM BPDO. And in one of the above scenario, the network topology has changed and the bridge will need to use TC message to inform the root bridge of the topology change. Maybe someone confused why we need a special message to tell the root bridge that the network topology changed. Because if the topology change, maybe if all the devices use the original micro address table to forward the message, finally, because this is, it, is a broken link, the message maybe cannot be forwarded to the destination. So we have to let all the devices know now you have to use a new link and also the original mic address table maybe some wrong you have to learn a new mic address so these are main two functions that's why we hope that everyone have to know the network topology is changed and uh, because about the STP, the main rule is the root bridge, and uh, that's why the root bridge have to know this new, this news, and then to let all the rest uh, switches to delete the original micro address table and uh, to use a new link. And uh, in daily maintenance, original switches. The TC message are usually generated in the following situations. For example, if the device or maybe the link failure that will trigger the STP protocol to do recalculation and generate the TC message. This is a basic scenario, right? The second one, maybe when you do the configuration, you change some configuration parameters and this one also will trick the STP to recalculation and generate the TC message. A third scenario, maybe a port connect to a terminal that is STP enabled, but not config as a edge port, which generates TC message when the link status of the port changes as a result of the reboot. That means Later we will talk something what means age port. In this scenario means maybe we have one terminal and you use the network cable to connect with one switch. In this scenario, maybe also we'll let all the devices to do calculation again to delete the micro address and to learn a new micro address table. But as we know about the network part, the topology is not changed, right? So later we will have some advanced feature of the STP. And the third, last one, maybe some attack TC message from customer equipment may be also travel to the level two network they access. Some attacker or maybe in some scenario, 
manually creates the TC message and then all the network devices will think this is a normal TC message. Then I will change the network topology and do the recalculation. So typical in daily maintenance, there are four scenarios. Maybe the TC message will be sent out. And then let's say if we send out the TC message, we also call TCN BPDO what's the result. For example, about the right topology, we already use this uh, uh, BPDO to do the calculation and finally we can get the topology without loop, right? Maybe in the physical layer, there's still some links to connect with multiple devices. And in this scenario, for example, now if the link between switch two and switch three is broken, and what's the process? First, about the switch two, about this switch will send out the TCN BPD. This is special BPD. We already talked about the detailed parameters of the configuration BPD. We have lots of parameters, like the cost, like the time, like the, some bridge ID, something like this. But about the TCN BPD, it's easy, it's simple than the configuration BPD because this only used to no, notify all the devices that the network topology is changed, right? So who will first find the link is broken, switch to, and the switch three because they directed to connect with each other, use the link and use the interface. Then when switch one receives this message, I will give a reply. And this reply we call is first this message belongs to the normal BPDO. You also can say this is a C BPDO. But the special one is do you still remember on the BPDO we have one segment we call it flat and it has one byte long and uh, eight bits. The special is we will make the TCA bit the position of one. And uh, this one is a special function to give the acknowledgement for switch two. Okay, your notification. I already received it and uh, I will continue to send this and I will continue to do the next step. But pay attention about switch one. When I receive the TCN BPD from switch two, I will not immediately give a reply because we have the time limitation. I have to wait until I receive the BPD from up switch. Maybe in this topology is the root. Two seconds, right? Two seconds later, I will send the normal BPD for you, but the special one is I make the TCA position of one. Okay, so this is acknowledgement for switch two. Otherwise, switch two will continue to send out the TCN BPD because about switch two, this is the function, this is the job of switch two. I have to let the root know that the network topology is changed. Okay, and the next step, because switch one is not the root, so switch one will continue send create a new TCN BPD and uh, to up switch to tell the switch that the network topology is changed. But in this topology about the switch one, the up switch is uh, root. So about the root, I also will give a reply. I already received this message, right? But the special one for the root is because the root, you can think this is a master in our network. And uh, in the whole process, if root receives this TCN BPD, it stop here. But if not, we will repeat step two and three until the root bridge receives the TCN BPD. So now the root already received. Then the next step is the root will send out a uh, BPD, right? The root will send out the normal BPD, and this BPD is used uh, for the 
topology calculation. And every two seconds, the router will create the BPDO and send out. But the special one is about this BPDO, we also use a special flag segment, but we will use a TCN, TCN. And about the TCN bit, we will make it to become one, and then to give you, send you, I already received the message. Then I have to tell you there are some special action we have to do. The first one is place modify your mic address table agent time. As we know, the default mic address, a, uh, mic address table agent time is 300 seconds, five minutes, right? If we don't receive the mic address message until five minutes later, I will delete the, I will delete the entry. But if we receive the BPDO and the TCN position of one, I will directly to make the agent time from three seconds to four delay. And by the default, the forward delay is 15 seconds. Of course, you can use a command to change, for example, to change it to become five seconds. And then, this is the first one. I will shorter the mic address time to become 15 seconds. The second one, the other function is, I will tell everyone that the mic address table is Change. Uh, sorry, the topology is changed. So we have to do the recalculation now. Do the recalculation now means I will directly to receive the BPDO from upper switches and compare with my site and select the best one. Maybe in this scenario, the root bridge will change, or maybe the interface rule will be changed. The, origin, the original RP maybe will become AP, maybe will become DP. So finally, we have to do the recalculation again. Okay, and this message because belongs to the normal BPDO. So all the switches receive this one. First, I will change my mic address agent time. And then I will forward it to the download switch, like the topology. Switch one receive the message from root. I will continue to forward the message to switch two and switch five. Switch two and five will continue to change the agent time. Okay. So finally, the root bridge will send this special configuration BPDO with a TCN set to one during the maximal age plus four delay time, that's been by default, 30, 35 seconds afterwards. And when the bridge receives a configuration BPDO, it will shorten its mic address agent time from 300, 300 seconds to four delay, that is 15 seconds. So this is a special time for the TCM, uh, special function for the TCM BPDO, okay? And uh, then I, we will see some special case. If the network topology is broken, what's the time to do the recoverages? The first one is direct connection failure. For example, about the left topology, switch one is directly to connect with root. We use two links, and we select the left interface to become the root port, and the right one is is broke is a broken interface. So in this scenario, if one link is broken, about the switch one, I would directly know it, and the switch one also knows that. Now I cannot connect with the root bridge. Maybe I can be a new root bridge. So in this scenario, if we want to force the message successfully, we have to make the blocking interface 
to become folding status as soon as possible. Then we can continue to help the customer to force the message out, right? And the time is direct link failures. The recovery uh, requires forwarding delay and uh, multiply to is 30 seconds. So in this scenario, we need 30 seconds, then the blocking interface can be in forwarding status and continue to force the message out. So this is a time limitation. Someone maybe say, I already know that my blocking interface have to work, have to become forwarding status. Why we still have to wait in 30 seconds? That's because the origin blocking interface now should be a new IP, right? But we still have to pass through the intermediate status of learning status and the forward and the listening status. The default time is 30 seconds. And another one, if we non direct connect to, with the root, for example, like the topology, switch one, switch two, and the root, and we already broke the interface of the switch two. In this scenario, if the link between switch one and the root is broken, what's the time? First one, the switch one upstream line is exceptional and sends a BPDO with root ID of its own bridge to switch to. Because of all this scenario, switch 1 will never receive the BPDO from root again, right? So switch 1 will think, I am a root. Maybe he will think the root bridge is broken, so I will send out from the other interface to switch 2. I should be the new root bridge. So please do the recalculation again. But pay attention about the switch two. Switch two, both interface will have the best BPDO parameters from the root at the first calculation in the in the topology. So in this scenario, the switch two receives a message from switch one. Switch uh, switch two will think. The bridge ID of the root is better than switch one. So the switch two will think you are not the best one. I will ignore it because about the switch two, the interface, the interface is blocking status. In the blocking status, we will never send the BPDO out. So how long I will find? that the switch to have to send out the new message, the new BPDO to switch one until the max age, right? Max age, I never receive the BPDO from switch one because in the origin scenario, switch one have to receive the BPDO from the root and the two seconds later for the message to switch two. But switch two, never receive the best one that the root is the best bridge. Until 20 seconds later, I will find that the switch one is not connected with the root. It never do the communication with the root now. So in this scenario, switch two will send a new bridge, a new BPDO to switch one and to tell switch one that we have to do the recalculation again. So the time is maximal age plus forwarding delay multiple to totally 50 seconds. So there are two typical cases in the STP. If one link is broken about the STP, after the recalculation, we can provide the backup link, right? But we have to wait and at least 30 seconds. Then you can continue to enable the backup one and then to do the forwarding status to force the message. So this also is the limitation why in some special scenario we will not use the STP because 30 seconds is too long for the network to wait. If your network is not so stable, Maybe 30 seconds later, we make the backup one to forward the message. 
but the links also uh, uh, the link will block it again. You have to wait a certain thirty seconds again. So this is a disadvantage of the STP. And here we talk the basic one of the STP and also includes the normal BPDO and the TCN BPDO. And the next video we will talk something basic configuration of the STP.